I just want to let you know that I haven't given up on Elizabeth just yet. You can do whatever you want. But you better make good sure that you have Elizabeth's and Allie's best interests at heart. Not your own. Hey, Hardys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Chris McNally and Kevin McGarry from When Calls the Heart. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hey, so we just watched episode eight, and I, I think I'm not alone in the kind of screaming at the TV and what's happening and what's going on. Um, Kevin, let's just start with the big bombshell at the end of the episode that Nathan finally told Elizabeth what he's been kind of wanting to tell her and all that. Hold on to, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you yeah. think do you think now was the right time? Should he have told her in the past? What What do you think about the decision to tell her right oh, now? I don't know if there ever was a good time. Uh, you know, maybe their first. I mean, the very first time they met, he gave her a sum of money, basically. Yeah. Okay. He had to, you know, give um, the sum of money uh, to, to Elizabeth. But he never really mentioned Jack. And uh, nor, I think, at that point, he didn't know her. And it was just kind of like a, a, you know, clearly a touchy subject. And then as he found that he was developing feelings for her, I think, throughout the season, it was like, how do I tell her this? And you know, and that's, I think this is why he was so tongue-tied. Like, you know, he found himself being attracted to her while knowing this, you know, feeling so guilty at the same time. And I mean, it came out the way that it did. I, for sure, there could have been a better time to do it. But, uh, but what a dramatic time to do it, really. Yeah. It was, it was a good time now, I think. Yeah. Can you, can you say moving forward, does Elizabeth have some forgiveness in her heart? Or is that the big question? Like whether she can move I past think we'll this or have not? To see. I don't know. I, I think this is a big thing moving forward to see if she can forgive him. I mean, this Nathan blames himself. Um, and now it's, you know, now we got to see if, if Elizabeth agrees or, or if she's able to get over it. But it's, this is a, it's not something light to dump on her. And, and you know, she's already going through so much as it is, let alone. Yeah. This yeah. he could have been alive if if I if I went instead. Hey, okay, um, Chris, Chris. Let's talk about earlier in the episode. In the office, there's a, a a nice scene between Elizabeth and Lucas. But I I gasped a little bit when she pats the seat next to her. I was like, that's that's a little bold for her to do that, isn't it? I think it's great that she does make that gesture because uh, one of the recurring themes this I think so far this season, um, with a few exceptions, but has been that Lucas is. Uh, usually the one moving, trying to move things forward and, uh, and Elizabeth is often hesitant. So I think, uh, I think it's a win for, for Lucas that she, um, that she offers that. There's also a moment in the episode after that when Lucas and Nathan kind of have a little talk about Elizabeth um, at the mine. And it's, I think it's as close as you can get oh, to these guys' buddy heads. Oh, they left that in there, huh? Yeah, oh, that's yeah, in yeah. there. <laughs> but you guys, you guys wow. don't get a chance to have those scenes where you're really just talking about it. it it's not a long scene, but it's enough to kind of get people worked up. How was that to shoot? Because I feel like a lot of times it's just one, somebody's off in the distance watching the other one with Elizabeth, and that's... Sipping a cup of tea. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I, call, I, I call that scene a moose-bouche to what's coming up with the two of them. They have a, they have a pretty good scene coming up. Mm -hmm. um with the two of them so this is a little taster of of what uh, sure of what's, what's coming come. up i think yeah. yeah with those two aaron promised me that elizabeth would make her decision by the end of the season so my question to you guys what would you say to the team nathan or team lucas fans when that answer comes because somebody's going to feel really good and somebody's maybe not going to feel so good my hope and i think i speak for all of us is my hope is that the fans end up siding with uh, with Elizabeth rather than Nathan and Lucas and thinking about maybe what's best for or maybe that is what they're doing and that's why they feel so strongly about each team I don't know I uh, we'll, we'll have to see hopefully what happens at the end of the season sort of um, maybe convinces some people who aren't fans of one group to be fans of another group or maybe not we shall see Kevin what yeah. do you think you know as actors we all want to like you know Chris Aaron and I are, are great friends and we just want to tell the best story we can and the, the type of story that will keep you know the, the stories of Hope Valley going on further and this is I, I, I really think the way this ends is is the best possible way that it could go you guys there are only four episodes left in this season so make sure you watch When Calls the Heart every Sunday night on the Hallmark Channel